Hey guys, it's Victoria, and this is my 28-week pregnancy update. I'm going to try to be quick. Um, it is just at bath time, bedtime. Matthew just got home. He uh, mentors a group of students, university students, on Monday night, so he's late getting home. So the kids are in the bath, and I had a couple minutes to sit down and just do a quick update. Not much to report. I had an OB appointment last Friday, and it was one of those ones where... I waited for, well, my, my appointment was at 11 and I didn't leave there till 12, 15, 12, 30. It was the first time this pregnancy that I've had to wait a long time. And they called me on the day before on Thursday to reschedule because my OB or the one I was supposed to see was going to be in the ER um, or the OR. So she wouldn't be there at that time. So they rescheduled. So that was sort of a clue that I may be waiting a while because they obviously had some schedule things they needed to change around. So I waited. I knew I didn't really need to see the doctor because I had an ultrasound two days before and everything was good, but um, I like appointments. The reassurance is always a good thing for me, so I waited. And sure enough, I saw him for less than five minutes. He measured me. I was measuring right on, checked the heartbeat, and that was it. So it was a good appointment. Um, my weight I'm up about 22 pounds, which is more than I want to be. And it's so funny because I get told constantly how small I am. Oh, you're so small. I work with this person and they're due after you and they're so much bigger. And so I think I just, I carry sort of wide and, and more back than like a tennis or a basketball. And I tend to gain other places. <laughs> so... I think that's probably why, but I'm trying, I'm trying so hard to not snack so much and it's so hard because it's all I want to eat. I don't, like the idea of eating a dinner with meat and potatoes and vegetables is just like, it turns my stomach. Like I can't count the number of times I make a nice meal for everybody else and then I eat like a sandwich and I'm starving so then I start snacking and so I don't know if I just need to suck it up and eat what I make for everybody else or just not worry about it too much. I don't know. I gained a lot with Noah. Like I gained 44 pounds with him and I was quite a bit bigger when I started with him and it took a long time to lose it. I had to work really hard on it. So I don't really want to gain that much this time. I know it's, it's not that big of a deal. I've lost it before and I know I can do it again, but if I can try and and curve that weight gain a little bit, that would be nice. I also have a goal of running a 5k um, on Mother's Day. They have a big marathon in our city. But uh, so that's a few months after I'm due. So hopefully that'll be enough time to recover and then train a little bit and run that. So again, if I don't gain a ton, it'll be easier to train for that after. I, um, I started running about a year and a bit ago from now and did a 10k the past Mother's Day and then got pregnant so I haven't been running where I'm high risk I'm not comfortable running um, when I'm pregnant um, but I definitely want to take it up again so that's another motivation to not gain too much uh, everything else looked good at the appointment um, blood pressure and all that was great I go back in two weeks I'm scheduled to see the same doctor I saw on Friday and he's great. Um, they're all wonderful at the clinic that I go to, but I'm going to request probably after that to go back to the one that I'm actually referred to who delivered Noah. I've seen her the most through all my pregnancies. She's wonderful. I have a really good rapport with her and I'm really comfortable with her. And as we get closer, I'd like to see her as much as possible. Now there's no guarantee who I will see when delivery time comes. If uh, I end up going into labor, um, and the baby's still breached, then I'll, I'll just get whoever is, uh, is on call that time. Um, but if I am able to hopefully make it further along and get to the point of scheduling a C-section, it would be awesome if I could do that with the, uh, the OB that I've seen the most. So that's another question I have, um, and I want to talk to her about because I, I'm not sure when they normally schedule C-sections. Um, I would love to get to the point where I can schedule it, but I don't want to schedule it any earlier than absolutely possible. So I just, I'm not sure if I get towards 35, 36 weeks, if they'll look at scheduling me on the earlier side to avoid me going into labor, or they'll just keep 
keep it, keep the baby inside as long as possible. And then if labor starts at 37, 38 weeks, just take me in for the C-section right then. I'm just not sure what's the protocol. And hopefully that's something that we have, that we're faced with, that the baby doesn't make that decision for us by coming early. Um, I was counting the other day, and if this baby was to come the same time as Alexandria, it would be six weeks from now, which is crazy. It's, that seems like tomorrow. So we are all praying that we can get a little bit further along, get into the next year, get Christmas and New Year's over, have a January baby. And I feel good. I feel confident. I've been really positive the whole time that with all of the life changes that we've made and where I am right now in my life, that I'm not working, we're not moving, we're not living in a temporary home while we build. Things were crazy last time. So hopefully all of that will contribute to the baby staying in longer. Um, otherwise, things have been really good. I've been in like hardcore nesting mode. We didn't do a whole lot on the weekend. We were home. Um, I was home all day Saturday. And I just, I feel like I need to walk around with like dusting stuff and cloths and a vacuum in my hands like at all times because I can't go into a room without stopping and cleaning something. And I think I just sort of have in the back of my head, I want, if it was to happen now, I want to know that I'm ready, that the house is clean and things are ready. And of course we don't, like I said, we don't want it to happen anytime soon. But with Christmas coming up and then it'll be really into baby time, the more I can get done earlier, the better. I'm pretty much done my hospital bag and the baby's hospital bag. So I'll do a video on those sometime in December. Her nursery is almost done. If you can see up above here, we got her uh, wall decals put on. Um, last week and I love it. It looks beautiful and I can see it every time I come up the stairs I sort of see into this room so it's really nice and cheery so everything's everything's coming along. Yeah, getting a good start on Christmas. Um, one other little update um, I'll just mention I'll put the video below where I talked about things that have, been, that have been going on with Noah. So he has a couple of cavities. We took him this morning to try and get one of them filled and not surprisingly, they weren't able to do it. He just, he's so nervous and he gets really anxious and just, he wouldn't sit still for the needle. And the dentist really doesn't want him to have a negative experience. So when he was starting to get, you know, he wasn't freaking out or anything. He was way worse when he had his flu shot, but where it's a needle and then there's a lot that they have to do after where he was already so tense and fidgety, they, he just said, no, this, this isn't gonna happen today. So we have a couple, three options really. There is, our dentist doesn't do any type of like gas, like nitrous oxide, but there are dentists in our city who do. So there's that option, but I'm worried that he won't like the mask on his face. He's, he's sensitive little guy. And the other option locally is I guess they have this um, oral sedation. It's like a drink. It sounds awesome if I could, if we can get him to drink it, but I, ha I did talk to a couple of people that said, um, a girl I know who's a dental hygienist, she said in her experience she hasn't really seen it work. Um, and then the third option is to go to a pediatric dentist who is about two hours away and you know, that's all they do is, is deal with kids and they're fully equipped to do whatever it takes really up to completely putting them at, under, which we really don't want to get to that, to that point. So. If anyone has any experience with any of those options, I'd be really interested to hear, especially the uh, the drink, if anyone's heard of that. That was the first time I've ever heard of it. Um, it sounds really interesting, but I'm not sure if it would, it would work. We might go the gas route, so at least start there. Anyway, that is about it. I will do a quick belly shot and then get the kids to bed. It's time to relax. Thanks for watching. I will talk to you in my next video. So this is my, sorry, the necklace, 28 week belly. Looks really big right now. Sorry about the necklace. Feels like it's gotten bigger since last week. My belly button is still pretty much in the center. With Noah, as he got closer to the end, he was on the left. My belly button was definitely off center. And right. I'm pretty sure she's still breech. Her kicks are still down low and on the side, and I think her head's right up about here. So that's 28 weeks.